What's up guys, welcome back to the show, it is your boy Lex Money. In today's video, we're gonna jump straight back into ICP. Now before we do get into that guys, we are so close to getting that 40% subscribed ratio. You guys are absolutely killing it. So again, if you wanna support the channel, then please just click that button. Do it for me now guys, let's get it. Bang, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday guys, it is the middle of the week. We have got the Bitcoin conference Tomori. So we're going to be making sure that we keep a close eye on that. Make sure you guys do not miss that. But if you do, I'll be covering pretty much everything that is being spoken about. Affirmation of the day. Risk is better than regret. I've always been a strong believer in taking risks. Whether that be job wise, whether that be in your love life, whether that be in investing, you should always take risks, guys. Don't regret things there's a large margin between people who take risks and people who don't and nine times out of ten people who are risk takers generally are more successful and that is because they have belief in themselves they keep going they're not scared of failure guys so all of you who are watching the video now you're risk takers well done you should all be proud of yourself because it is not easy to take risks but you're doing it now we'll start on some icp stuff then we'll go into some of the bitcoin charts at the end of the video but icp's latest milestone cyclotron was successfully completed last week enabling on-chain inference for ai models including face recognition this marks a significant advancement towards running large ai models on chain to solve the trust problem within ai guys again i know retention time so i will leave a link to this tweet in the pinned comment yeah in the pinned comment and then if you want to read the whole thing you guys can go back in your own time and read the whole thing but basically the conclusion is the cyclotron milestone brings the performance of ai compute on icp to near native cpu performance now this is the first step towards running large ai models fully on chain to solve AI's trust problem. The next AI milestone in ICP's roadmap aims to scale beyond CPU limitations. And this is great, okay? This is great. Still, it does wind me up that we are not on coin market caps AI token list. I mean, it just doesn't make sense, guys. It should be on here. It should be in pretty much every single category on coin market cap, as many of you guys know, but it's not. However, when the news comes out that we can scale beyond CPU limitations. That is going to send the price skyrocketing. You guys, you're already here, but you want to have a seat on the boat before those key pieces of information do come out to the general retail noobs. And remember, it's not just AI. It's AI, real world asset, storage, speed and tech, actual blockchain, EFI, interoperability, cybersecurity, cloud and private cloud, actual DAO, gaming, NFTs, identity on the blockchain, reverse gas model, it is doing everything. And that is why I was saying that it should really be in pretty much every um, category on coin market cap. But you and I, we both know that. And that is why we invest into ICP because a lot of your top coins, a lot of the competitors, competitors, they're, they're not even decentralized, okay? The majority of them are run on Amazon Web Service. And what happened the other day with that cybersecurity hack or glitch or whatever they want to call it, right? I don't know, I'm not even going to get into that. Your blockchain is relying on a centralized service. You are set up to fail. And that is where ICP is so different, guys. Oh, shout out Blockchain Pill. I actually did. I was on my um, timeline scrolling through. And it looks like ICP Swap has had an upgrade. Now, I'm not trying to steal his content, not trying to steal his swag, right? But I did think this was a pretty cool thing to show you guys. Now, I mean, you go into Swap and they've got the pro mode here, okay? So you've got simple mode, which is just a swap. And then they've got pro mode. Now, I haven't swapped anything in a long time, guys. You can let me know if I'm late to the party. If you're like, Lex, this is like a month old, you idiot. Then you can tell me, no problem. But you're starting to see DeFi on ICP become a lot more user-friendly. You're seeing a list of all the different tokens, their ranking, their daily percentage gain or loss. You can go into the charts here as well. You can easily swap. You've got the swap price with ICP, TVL, all the stats underneath here, all the swaps underneath here. This is great. This makes it very easy for the retail noob to come in and say, right, I've got some ICP and I want to swap it for exe okay all you have to do is connect your internet identity or whatever wallet you want to connect could be was it bitfinity or something like that and you can just swap directly and it's pretty easy you guys know how easy it is to swap but this does remind me of in the last cycle when i was bags deep in cardano and they were releasing like jpeg store right i remember when jpeg store was the crappiest website 
imaginable. It was so dead. Um, you look at JPEG store now and it is so easy, so user friendly for the noobs to come in and be buying, uh, you know, their NFTs with card, with Solana now, with ADA. Connect any wallet you want. Very, very easy, very simple. So this is what we need to see for a lot of our ICP apps. And it's very, very good to see ICP Swap has had a pro version made. Hopefully that should help bring more volume into the ICP ecosystem as a whole. Oh, we're gearing up, baby. We're gearing up to the top of the bullish megaphone. Once we have this breakout, it is game over. It is go time. It is Bow. See you later, mate. I actually can't wait for this. I feel like this has been such a long time coming for all of us for breaking the all time high into price discovery. This is what we've been accumulating for, guys, and the time is near. So I'm making these daily updates, and I feel like sometimes I'm repeating myself. You guys can let me know if you feel like that as well. But I do it to make sure that while we're in the boring phase and while this is like super, you know, can be quite boring to accumulate and people come in and they say, why is it still at this price? We remember why it's still at this price and remember how much of an amazing opportunity it is to be staying at this price at this stage of the market. But I'm sure you and I, we're seeing the same thing now, right? We are feeling very optimistic. And are we in this optimism stage of the market? It looks like we're playing out perfectly with the Wall Street cheat sheet, guys. Okay, so once we do break the all time high, we're gonna go into this belief phase have a blow off top into Thrill, Euphoria, hopefully buy between Thrill and Euphoria. We would have already, you know, DCA'd out, took a lot of profits in all of our other bags as well. And then we can start to accumulate a little bit lower when alts do crash. But we are in the optimism phase. I'm feeling super optimistic. We had our shakeout. We know that we're not going down to like 40K, 30K, all this sort of stuff. Ball run over, like everyone was saying. We are getting so close. We've got like, like I said, we've got like eight weeks to go, in my opinion. We'll keep a little tracker on that. Eight weeks from the 24th of July. But this is the lowest we've been since the previous breakouts of the last runs, guys. So you can see here, 2015 to 2017, we were in a reaccumulation. We then had a massive rally. 2019, 2021, we had that C word crash, reaccumulation, massive rally. Now we've had our Mount Gox, German government, all that sort of rubbish. Massive crash, reaccumulation. Are we going to start to have our next rally up? I do think so. Now we come to ICP's chart and what am I looking for, guys? I am looking to accumulate pretty much anything at the 0236. So anything around $9.40, I'll be accumulating. We'll check our other chart in a minute. I think my top buy for this area was like 950. And if we do break below it, then I'm going to be looking for that trend line retest, guys. So that could be anywhere between like seven, eight dollars, depending if we do break below the 0236. And then for us to get super bullish, we want to be breaking this upper area of the channel. So anywhere around the 1618, around 15 dollars, or this sloping resistance here as well. Now, one thing that does make me feel like we could be getting some lower price action is myself and the members club actually did enter a ethereum short we had a head short high risk head short sell the news we entered at 3.5k we're riding that thing like a boss right now and i posted in our margin updates yesterday to enter the trade today we're making our way down what we're sort of looking for around 3185 that could bring down our altcoins quite a lot but again it could be a sell the news event for ethereum so we wanted to make sure that we were prepared ahead of the crowd we make money on the way up we make money on the way down so if you guys want to be part of the members club then you guys can go and check out the patreon link in the pinned comment but yes guys we're looking to touch $9.52, $8.53. I highly doubt we get that $5.94. Again, that's probably a thing of the past. But if we can get anywhere between $8 and $9, that would be an amazing accumulation price for ICP. And that could be in line with an Ethereum crash over the coming weeks before we do have our massive rally up in a couple of months, guys. You can let me know what you think in the comments. But that's it. If you made it this far, please be sure to go and smash that like button and drop me a sub. And let me know how you're feeling about ICP in the comments. All comments are welcome. I'm going to see you tomorrow, guys. Peace.